Hey, Frank Kane here in the uh, Sondog Education Studio. Welcome. I want to do a quick video here just to address a point of confusion with many students, and that is that we have three different Apache Spark courses. Which one should you take first? Well, yeah, we do. So there's three of them. One is called Taming Big Data with Apache Spark 3 and Python hands-on. Another is called Apache Spark 3 with Scala hands-on with Big Data. And then we have Streaming Big Data with Spark Streaming, Scala, and Spark 3. So the first choice you have to make is, do I want to learn Spark using Python or the Scala programming language? And it used to be that I would push you towards Scala for a couple of reasons. First of all, historically, new features in Spark would be released on Scala first, and Python would pick it up later on, maybe. That's no longer really the case now. There's pretty good feature parity between the Python version of Spark and the Scala version of Spark. A lot of that's been driven by the popularity of Python in the data mining and data science and machine learning world. So a lot of people really want to use Python with Spark, and uh, Spark has met that demand. It's no longer really the case that there are features on Scala version of Spark that don't exist in Python. There's some exceptions like GraphX, but GraphX has essentially been deprecated at this point and replaced by something else. So I'm not sure that even counts anymore. So it's really up to you. If you're up for learning a new language like Scala, it's a cool language, uh, go ahead and take the Scala version of the course. That again is called Apache Spark with Scala, hands-on with big data. But if you already know Python and you wanna stick with it and you don't wanna learn a whole new language as part of the deal, uh, go ahead and try out the Python version of the course. Again, that's called Taming Big Data with Apache Spark and Python hands-on. So those are basically two versions of the same course. One is in Python, one is in Scala. Take one or the other. You know, there's no need to take both unless you really want to revisit the same topics uh, using a different language. Now, beyond that, we have a third course that focuses on Spark streaming. And that course is in Scala. And that's because historically Spark streaming was one of those things where it existed in Scala long before it existed in Python. So there was some more of a uh, existing body of code to work with. And, and frankly, when I first made that course, uh, the Python version of Spark streaming didn't really exist. So um, we ha had to use Scala at the time. So if you do want to focus more on Spark streaming, that's, you know, ingesting data from external data sources in real time, uh, you might want to go the Scala route just so that you can follow that up with the Scala version of the Spark streaming course. So again, to recap. For introductory to Apache Spark, you can either use Python or Scala. For Python, you want to take the Taming Big Data with Apache Spark and Python hands-on course. If you want to go the Scala route, go the Apache Spark with Scala hands-on with Big Data course instead. And from there, if you want to follow up with more of a deep dive into Spark streaming, which again is just a way to ingest data from external sources in real time, you want to take the uh, Streaming Big Data with Spark streaming, Scala, and Spark course after that as the second step. Okay, got it? Hope that clears up any confusion. Uh, Apache Spark is a big ecosystem. There's a lot to it and it's extremely powerful. So I look forward to you getting to become familiar with it and add it to your tool chest of big data tools. All right, this is Frank. See you around.